So yes, we are on my Fire Stick Fire TV, and yes, this is a launcher. You too can make your Fire Stick look like this. But guess what? Now, when you push the home button, it stays on the launcher again. So you're not going to be reverting to your old launcher. You can keep it looking like this. But there is a few steps to make this work. And I'm going to show you how I made this work. But before that, as always, if you can and you want to stay up to date when things work, when things get fixed, Fire TV, Fire TV sticks, and I've got some huge stuff coming for you at the end of this week, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher here, um, you've probably heard of Wolf Launcher before, but we're going to show you how we can make it work and stay. So do watch through till the end because there's quite a few good little steps. So let's run it back. Let's get back to the beginning and let me show you how I set this up from the start. Okay, so we're back on our Fire Stick. Remember, before we do this, editing, changing things on your Fire Stick, although no matter how many times we've done these things, do run a risk. Mistakes can be made, possible chances of breaking Fire TV devices. But I'm going to show you step by step. Watch it through carefully, and then watch it again if you want to try it. First things we're going to do, for anybody who've used this in the past, we need to remove any versions of an application called Launch Manager. So go to your settings, go to Applications, go to Manage Installed Applications, and then any versions of Launch Manager, like this one, I'm going to delete this anyway, Uninstall. Okay, Get them off, get them uninstalled, because we don't want it confusing with the new version which makes it work. Okay. Now we need to install the Wolf Launcher, which was that great screen you saw, easy interface, great looking screen, which we're going to show you more about at the end. And we need to install an application called Launch Manager. So to do this, we need to go to my website. So first of all, go to the magnifying glass, type in here, Downloader. There's Downloader, so D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-E-R, click it, and then get it installed. Do not open it yet. Next up, back to your home screen, go across to settings, go to My Fire TV, then click on developer options. If you do not have developer options, there's a video underneath this video in the description on how to get developer options. So we open up developer options, turn on ADB debugging, and install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader. Brilliant. Now we need to open that downloader app. So you need to find it again. You either find it on your top list or you can go into your applications here, my apps and find downloader and then open it up. Brilliant. Hopefully you're all keeping up to date so far. Hope so. Once you're here, remember, we're going to be going to my website. So if you're confused so far, watch again. For everybody else in this section, we're going to type in here docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. The link is directly underneath this video. Or to make it a little bit quicker, you can type 757 26. Okay, brilliant. We can now hit go. This will load up my downloads page for us. Remember, while you're waiting, drop me those comments, hit those subscribe, and make sure you are hitting that like button. Perfect. So we're going to scroll down, and at the top, you will see. New updates, new APKs. These are the apps we need. We need Wolf Launcher and Launch Manager. Get them both downloaded. If they are not there because you're watching this video at a later date, scroll all the way down. Keep going down until you get to a section which is, if I can find it, keep going. We've got so much stuff on here now. Amazon Fire TV launchers. And we want to get Wolf Launcher and Launch Manager or Launch Manager, whichever one it's called. So click on Wolf Launcher. You're going to download it. Click Install. Now click Done, do not open it, and then click Delete and Delete. Then back on my website, we're going to push the back button. So we can go back to the Downloads page. And then we're going to get the other one we needed. We get them back from the top. The other one we needed is scroll down is Launcher Manager. OK. If you got lost there, just go back, reload up my website 75726 and select the one you need. We scroll down again until you get to the big download button. You click on that download button and we're going to install this one as well. 
So we click on install again. We click on done. We click on delete and we click on delete. Brilliant. Now hit your home button. And we need to find these applications. The best way is to go to these three squares and the plus. Go down to my apps. And at the bottom here, you will see the two ones. You've got Launcher Manager and Wolf Launcher. I'd recommend opening up the Wolf Launcher. Just check it works on your Fire TV device. Brilliant. Um, if you end up having a big space at the top, you can customize the layout by pushing the three lines. Um, you can click on Launcher Settings, Sections, Manage Sections, and you can move these about. So you can move applications about and widgets, or you can add widgets in there, whichever, and you can add different sections, loads you can do about customization. If you're interested in a video on customization, tell me in the comments, and we will do that video in the future. So next up, we want to go to My Apps. This is where it gets tricky, and we're going to open up Launcher Manager. Remember, this is where things can go wrong. And if things go wrong, systems get locked, systems get broken. So do this at your own risk. Click on Launcher Options. You've got Enable Custom Launcher and all this. Ignore. You want to go all the way down to the bottom to... Let me move my head out of the way. I'm going to be in the way for a little bit of this. So I'm going to go over here today. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom to where it says Custom Launcher Options. Click on that one. Okay, so we want to pick our active launcher. The active launcher you want to pick is Wolf Launcher. Make sure you select the right one here, because if you select something else, it's going to load that every time you push the home button or when it turns on, and you will end up breaking your device. So select Wolf Launcher. Then you can turn this LM handler status to active. Brilliant. Now push the back button. Back in Launcher Options, you want to go to this Home button hook. You want to click that. You want to turn the Use ADB for Home hook state off to on. Okay. Once that's on, you go back to Launcher Options because it will kick you out. But when you did turn that ADB one to on here, you need to make sure if it pops up for your ADB connection, you click Yes and Allow from this computer. Okay. And also turn on the home button hook on. Brilliant. Now you will see we have it all set up. So it's launcher options. You've got custom launcher options, wolf launcher active. And then you want to do the launcher options, home button hook. These two both turned on. So now when you push that home button on your device, we end up here. Okay. We are not going to the Fire Stick home screen or anything like that. We are on this screen here. What do you think? Work well? Yes, it's not 100%. So if you're in an application, say, I don't know, let's find an application. Doesn't really matter which one we go into. Um, well, one we can show on this TV screen. For instance, BBC iPlayer for me, it doesn't matter, I'm not loading it up. If you push your home to come out of it, it will flick you back to the Amazon user interface and then onto this screen. So it does that and then flicks you back onto this screen. So it does go back there for a second or so, but it's way better than what we had before. It is a little bit buggy, but it's a lot better. You've got no adverts on this screen. So if you're in an app, it doesn't really matter what app again. We go into Aptoid. We want to get out of it. We would push our home button. Brilliant, it flicks us here. Sometimes it will flick you back to the home screen of your Fire Stick and then back up again, like this one. You see that little second there? but it's much better than it was. Remember to hit that subscribe button because we will keep you up to date with anything else. Remember, do this at your own risk. Right, one last thing. If you do it and you don't like it, let me show you how to turn it back. So you want to go to Launch Manager. You want to turn off these hooks. So it'll be Launcher Options, Home Button Hook, turn them both off. That's your first bit. Then you want to go to Launcher Options, custom launcher options we want to deactivate that and i also found to make it carry on going back to the correct screen was go down your active launcher list and put fire tv profile ui that's the one i found which worked best and do it but personally you get it turned off then when you push your home screen you're back on your normal interface simple as that right before we leave, if you did like that video, hit that subscribe button. We've got tons of other videos like that you would like from installing apps, audio, tech, 
ticks, even an adult app on there. Other great content for you. And before you leave, if you are after a VPN, linked underneath is a partner of ours, which is NordVPN, is a great quality premium VPN, which works well on your Fire TV devices, your Fire Sticks, and everything else. Brilliant. Check out all my socials and we keep you up to date with everything. Everything you need is linked in the description. Thank you for watching. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. And I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.